These sports stars damage their careers and personal lives with behavior like bad sportsmanship, assault, and even dogfighting. Let's take a closer look at the gifted athletes who ruined their reputations in the blink of an eye. Michael Vick was a star quarterback for the Atlanta Falcons until his career went up in flames. In 2001, Vick and several buddies started the dogfighting operation known as Bad News Kennels in Virginia. By 2007, they caught the attention of local and federal law enforcement officials. In April of that year, Vick's Virginia property was raided by police who discovered evidence of dogfighting as well as neglected animals. The men were charged with conspiracy to engage in dogfighting, acquiring animals with the purpose of dogfighting, and conducting the enterprise across state lines. The men initially pled not guilty but eventually changed their tunes. In December 2007, Vic was sentenced to 23 months in federal prison and was forced to enter a drug treatment program. I will redeem myself. I have to. Thank you. Vic was released from prison in May 2009. Although he was able to resume his NFL career by that summer, he no longer had the same spark that made him a superstar. He finished his career with the Pittsburgh Steelers in 2015. Antonio Brown was considered one of the best wide receivers in the NFL during his nine-year career. He had an unprecedented run with the Pittsburgh Steelers, including five straight seasons with at least 100 receptions. Then he requested to be traded. The Oakland Raiders quickly pounced, signing him to a massive three-year, $54 million deal before the 2019 season. But he didn't play a single down with the team. In August 2019, Brown suffered severe frostbite on his feet after a cryotherapy session, forcing him to miss all but one training camp practice. That same month, he filed a grievance with the NFL to wear his old helmet, which was denied. The very next month, he was fined nearly $54,000 for unexcused absences, and he threatened to hit Raiders general manager Mike Mayock. The team released Brown on September 7th. He then quickly signed with the New England Patriots in a one-year deal worth up to $15 million with a $9 million signing bonus. But before his first game, a former trainer accused him of assaulting her. On September 20th, after appearing in just one game, the Patriots released Brown after intimidating text messages he allegedly sent to a second accuser came to light. After being drafted in the third round of the 2017 NFL Draft by the Kansas City Chiefs, running back Kareem Hunt wasn't expected to contribute to the team in any meaningful way. However, after a season-ending knee injury to starter Spencer Ware, Hunt stepped in and became a breakout star. He made the Pro Bowl as a rookie and cemented himself as an essential piece of the Chiefs' future. However, 11 games into his sophomore season, Hunt was released after TMZ posted a video of him allegedly assaulting a woman in a Cleveland hotel. The incident, in which no charges were filed, had occurred before the season started. Meanwhile, the NFL launched an internal investigation into the incident. Upon review of the TMZ video, the Chiefs determined that Hunt hadn't been truthful in discussions with team management, and they announced that they were releasing him immediately. Hunt then signed with the Cleveland Browns, who immediately suspended him for the first eight games of the 2019 season for violating the league's personal conduct policy. Before the start of the 2014 NFL season, the Carolina Panthers placed the franchise tag on their star defensive end Greg Hardy. However, before the season began, he was arrested and charged with assaulting and threatening to kill his ex-girlfriend Nicole Holder. Although the charges were dropped after Holder refused to cooperate with police, the Panthers released Hardy anyway. In 2015, the Dallas Cowboys swooped in, signing Hardy to a one-year, $13 million deal in a highly criticized move. Despite an incident in which Hardy had to be restrained during an on-field fight with one of his coaches, he was labeled by the Cowboys owner Jerry Jones as, quote, one of the real leaders on his team. Hardy was in the middle of a decent season that year when Deadspin posted the graphic police photos of the assault of his ex-girlfriend. After that, his performance flagged, he became depressed, and he fell out of favor with his teammates. The Cowboys chose not to re-sign him. Since then, he's moved on to a career in mixed martial arts. In 1995, the University of Nebraska's star running back Lawrence Phillips pleaded not guilty to assaulting another student during an altercation at a blocked intersection. Less than a year later, he broke into a teammate's apartment, where he found his former girlfriend and subsequently knocked her down and dragged her down three flights of stairs by her hair. 
He was arrested, suspended by the team, then reinstated just in time for the 1996 Fiesta Bowl despite outcry from national media and school faculty. Phillips then declared for the 1996 NFL Draft, where the St. Louis Rams ignored all the red flags and selected him with the sixth overall pick. He was released two years later due to his troubling off-field behavior. He then signed with the Miami Dolphins, where he played two games before being cut after pleading no contest to misdemeanor battery. After a year off, he signed with the San Francisco 49ers, where his pass blocking was so terrible it played a role in ending Hall of Fame quarterback Steve Young's career. After football, Phillips received 31 years in prison for attacking his girlfriend and driving his car into three teenagers. In 2016, he was found dead at the age of 40 in his cell. It was suspected that he took his own life after being charged with killing his cellmate. Really sad when you see that much talent uh, end up like that. If you or anyone you know is having suicidal thoughts, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at one 800 273-TALK-8255